friends, it's Mrs. Ross, and I'm here today with a new felt board story that I have for you. And we read this one in the classroom not too long ago, but I didn't have the felt board pieces. I got these felt board pieces from um, a lady on Etsy, and she makes felt board stories. She has lots of them on, out there, and it, I believe it's called DM Craft Design on Etsy and I'll try to link that but I thought these were so fun and I bought this one that goes with the three Billy Goats Craft. So you can see I've got my little troll that guy who's going to be under the bridge and we've got the bridge and we've got the water and then remember in the story of the three Billy Goats Craft they had a grassy area that the Billy Goats were trying to get to. So I'll tell the story and then I want you guys to tell the story to a family member and we'll do a retelling that way. So, once upon a time, there were three billy goats, and on the other side of a bridge was a grassy area that they loved to go eat, but the problem was there was a grumpy old troll underneath the, the bridge that they had to cross. So, one day, the billy goats got an idea, and they decided that they were going to cross over the bridge and just have some snacks over there, because that was the best grass. So. The first billy goat goes over the bridge and he goes trip, trap, trip, trap, trip, trap over the bridge. He got about halfway over there and the mean old troll says, who's that trip trapping over my bridge? He goes up and peeks and the little billy goat, the first little billy goat says, it's just I, the first little billy goat and you don't want to eat me because I have a bigger and chunkier billy goat coming right after me. So the mean old troll thought about it for a minute and he said, okay, go ahead. So the first little billy goat trip trapped all the rest of the way over the bridge and over to the grassy field. Then it was the second billy goat's turn and he goes trip trapping over the bridge and he got about halfway over there and the mean troll says, who's that trip trapping over my bridge? And the second billy goat, in his just a little bit deeper voice, said, It is I, the second billy goat. The mean troll says, Well, I'm coming up to eat you. He says, Oh no, you don't want to eat me, because I have another bigger and chunkier brother who you'll want to eat instead of me. So the grumpy old troll goes back under his bridge and says, Okay, you can pass. So the second belly goat goes trip trapping over the bridge and he gets over to the field so that he's able to eat some grass. And then it came time for the third billy goat to come over the bridge. So he goes trip trap, trip trap, trip trap. He was so big and so heavy that the bridge would creak and groan underneath him. And the mean old troll said, who's that trip trapping over my bridge? And the third billy goat said, it is I the third and biggest billy goat. The mean old troll said, well, I'm going to come up there and eat you. He says, well, you just go ahead and try because I have my big horns to protect myself. So the troll goes up and the billy goat was ready with his horns and he started pushing and poking until the big old troll fell head first back down into the river and the billy goat trip trapped his way across the rest of the bridge and went with his brothers to eat the grass. So that's my favorite version of uh, the traditional story of the three billy goats gruff. Sometimes it's kind of dark at the end where the, the troll goes over the bridge and, and he gets hurt. This one, I just wanted him to fall over the bridge head first. I don't, want, don't like the scary stories. So we just had him go in the water. One of my favorite versions of the three billy goats gruff is one called the three billy goats fluff. So I'll put a link that you can find that story as a read aloud. It's one of my favorites because it has a really happy ending. So I'll be sharing with you um, a way to retell the story and some puppets that you can print out. And I hope you'll find the three Billy Goats fluff version of the story on YouTube because it's a really good story. I'll see you later. I found a printable of the three Billy Goats and the troll that you can get for free 
at the site that's listed on the form. And don't forget to check out the Three Billy Goats Fluff on YouTube.